Ah, uh, Kimmy, did you see Game of Thrones this week? Is the pile driver the most dangerous move in wrestling? <laughs> First of all, we had this sisterhood of the traveling pelts. They were trying to bury their hatchets in some White Walkers, but first, they had to bury the hatchet with each other. You sold me to a witch. Your father wanted to execute me, you know. This one's been killed six times. You don't hear him bitching about it. And then after that, Surly Spice clocks what is on every Power Bottom's brain. Dick. I like it. And then Top Knot finds out that it must be Baronet at the bar when he gets the Revenant head. <laughs> I love how many people they added to Moulin Rouge this week just so they could kill them off. And then that dang Earl Grey is rocking his chef's hat because he is stirring the pot. Perhaps Lady Brienne could help. And if one of you were planning to harm the other in any way, wouldn't she be on a bound to intercede? Earl Grey is like herpes. Once he's in your life, you forget about him until he flares up. But unlike herpes, you should be ashamed to have Earl Grey in your life. Herpes is a very common STD. Jonathan, did you know that nearly 70% of the world has herpes? Kimmy, I did know that. And now, I hope you know that too. Back at Cool Runnings, Sisterhood of the Traveling Pelts invited Iggy Popsicle to their little road trip only to find out that he's invited all his friends. So they skedaddle back to Pride Rock and they are all up on the circle of not life. It is Akuna my fucked up. So then, bored as fuck Dog the Bounty Hunty learns that people who live in no houses shouldn't throw stones. Fuck. And then that white twerker, Nancy Scarrigan, she takes the ice. She does four pinwheel turns into a flying Hamel camel, steps out into a triple axle, triple sackhaw combination, single foots the landing to the gods, Henty! Then there's this very suspenseful sequence when millions of bloodthirsty zombies attack them one at a time. Just when you think it's the last time we're ever gonna see Jon Snow's gorgeous, synonymous face, Christina Aguilera and her dragons make everyone some delicious creme zombie. But while Jon Snow was showing her what his little hands could do, approachable Karl Lagerfeld announces, I spears all in. It was full TLC behind the music when T-Buzz and Chili lost left eye. And then at the end, Jon Snow wakes up to a sad elf, and I'd like to fuck. And he's thinking, oh girl, I'm gonna put a dragon in you. And she's thinking, is that a Valerian sword under your furs? Are you just happy to see me? And then at the end, you think they're gonna leave us with this cute little sweet baby love scene until those white twerkers are trucking that damn dragon out of there for their upside down Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade. Left eye might be down, but she's not out. Penny, she's giving me Cersei realness. I'm ready to fuck my brother. <laughs> Where are my dragons? <laughs> <laughs>